All right, ladies, and I'm back, and I do apologize for the two-part videos. It's just the storage of my phone. It's really, really low. Right, um, so we're back to iftar recipes. Now, as you can see, I've got some spring rolls, and you've got some pictures of samosas and spring rolls, because Ramadan, um, like I mentioned before, there's lots of jokes that people eat so many fried food that when they finish their iftar, they're, they're just full of gas and bloated and, you know, uh, just really unhealthy so that doesn't mean we can't have samosas i mean i love having samosas and i'm pretty sure everybody does as well the crunch the texture it's just the, the the ideal kind of snack to have but it just depends on the, the way you cook them the way you make them people think that there is no other way of making samosas apart from frying them but today i'm going to show you how you can make samosas in the oven which is so much more easy and um you don't take any oil into your samosas they're completely oil free and they will taste just as good if not even better so just to show you the spring sheets i'm using and um, spring roll sheets i'm using um you can use these for samosas as well it just depends on where you cut them so these are called tyj spring roll pastry you can find them from anywhere from tesco asda um local asian supermarkets or uh, in independent stores um anywhere this is the most popular brand if you want to you can make pastry sheets at home yourself I wouldn't really recommend that unless you're, you know, you're a pro and you're really good at it because it does take a lot of time. Right, so I'm going to get one of these sheets out. Oh, this one's a bit ripped, but doesn't matter. My my laptop is clean, so don't worry about that. And I'm going to give you, show you a couple of options um, of some spring roll fillings that you can do. Um, of course, we're doing vegetarian, so we're quite limited, but that doesn't mean that we don't have any options. We have plenty of options. The first thing I have here is some. Um, stir fry filling. So these are Chinese vegetables and if you're wondering what exactly they are I will show you the packet which I have here somewhere. So this is the packet. These are vegetable and bean sprout stir fry um, which I brought from Tesco's. Yeah Tesco's and I think this cost about £1.20p. So I mean this £1.20 goes a long way because this could be enough filling for about five uh, maybe six spring rolls. Um, I just lightly stir fried it in hot oil um, with some salt and um, pepper and a bit of soy sauce. So I'm going to get this filling and I'm just going to show you how easy it is. I've actually got one of these in the oven right now um, just because I just want to show you how how good it looks and how um, crunchy it is just being in the oven. Right so we're just going to put a little bit of the filling in on a side, Ramadan isn't complete. I mean, no matter how healthy you try to be, Ramadan isn't complete without samosas and spring rolls, but it just depends on how you make them. Um, you know what? It's not end of the world if you have to oven bake these. They taste just as good. And we've been doing this for years. So for some people, it's something new. For some people, it's not. So can you see the way I'm rolling it? It's just so easy, so simple. And if you still can't seem to follow, then the instructions are at the back of the packet. Um, there's different ways of making spring rolls and samosas. They give you one to one step by step instructions. And when you're when you're oven um, baking your spring rolls, you don't really need to um, get a wet uh, flour base to fold them. You can just dip your finger in some water, and voila, there you go. There's your spring roll ready. I'm going to do another filling, which is going to be very very similar. I'm just going to have an addition of one more thing which I'm going to show you. So let's get one more sheet out. Okay, this is really, really, really easy. Again, these pastry sheets cost just about, I think, £1.20. No, maybe £2. I can't remember now. Um, yeah, I think it's about £2. Yeah, but then you have about 30 sheets in here. So that's 30 spring rolls or 60 samosas, because for samosas you'll cut them in half. Right, so again, we're gonna get our filling. And if you don't have access to this uh, stir fry, you can use any vegetables, any fruits, uh, not fruits, sorry, actually you could use fruits as well, um, any vegetables that you have. Right, sorry about this, I had to unfold this one and do it again because my camera stopped recording and I didn't want you to miss out on anything that I did. Right, um, yeah, so in this one, I put the same stir fry, but in here, I'm also gonna add some soya chunks. So if you don't know what soya chunks are, soya chunks are a protein-based, um, bean, so um, protein packed with uh, bean, uh, soya beans, and um, with soya beans you get these soya chunks. It's a very long process to get from soya beans to soya chunks, but 
you will not be able to tell the difference between soy bean, soy chunks and meat. So this is, uh, if you're a vegetarian, um, if you're from the Indian kind of continent, you'll be able to, um, you'll know what these are. Um, if you're not familiar, then uh, this is just what, what, this is what you will find in most vegan um, recipes because this is what they use to replace meat. Um, very packed, packed and packed, packed, packed with protein, fiber, and really, really tasty. So we're gonna um, add some of these soya chunks. I'm just gonna squeeze the water out. So they come as dry. They come dry um, in a pack and you just soak them in water for about 10 minutes and that just makes them packed and moist again. And if I just open one up, it actually looks like a piece of a chunk of meat and they taste so, so, so tasty. So I'm gonna add this in our spring roll and I'm gonna give this um, a fold. Oops, sorry, because I had to unopen this and it's gone. I had to open this up so it's gone a little bit. Um... Right, right. Now, um, in order to get a nice shine on these spring rolls, because they're gonna be oven baked, you have to remember to do one thing, and that is to give them a good wet wash with some, um, with some eggs. So there's one egg in here with a little bit of water, and we're just gonna brush over these spring rolls. And that will give them a nice shine and that crunchy kind of feel. And anything that you bake in the oven, whether it's spring rolls or puff pastry, um, uh, even egg, even bread, sorry, uh, it's really important to give it an egg wash to give it that nice golden shine. Or you can just, uh, if you're a vegan, you can even do a um, oil brush on them. Right, so these are the ones that I baked in the oven just now. Now tell me, can you tell the difference between fried spring rolls and oven baked spring rolls and you can even hear the crunch. Can you hear that? There we go, look how tasty they are. I made one big one, one small one, to give you an idea. Look at that. They look so, so, so good. I'm gonna put this back together again, make it look pretty again, <laughs> and I can have that later on. Right, another filling that I want to show you for these spring rolls, and this time I'm gonna do a, si uh, a sweet, a sweet filling. And the reason why I'm doing this particular filling, um, so in Ramadan, you'll see, Ramadan is a celebration. When it comes to the food, Ramadan is a celebration of dates. Um, dates are packed with fiber, protein, carbs, healthy carbs, sugars, good sugars. Um, they're suitable for diabetics, heart patients, but it all depends on how you eat them and how much you eat them. So, and, and uh, the kind of quality of the dates. So I've got some medjool dates and I soak them in hot water and then I kind of just mash them with my hands just to get like a date paste. And I'm gonna make a sweet, um, filling and this will be like a dessert or it can also it can also be something that you'll open your fast with um, because I just want to show you different ways of eating dates um, because dates seriously are just so 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 healthy for you and if you are gonna have a um, a chocolate brownie or a chocolate cake you know why not have something something else instead that will taste just as good if not even better but um, it will benefit your body instead of making you full of um, fatty and sugary acids. Right, so simple, very, very simple, date paste, fold. I do find making spring rolls much more easier than samosas um, because it's just so quick, so easy. And there we go, that's it, it's done. And I'm just gonna get some water, fold them up, give them an egg wash, and these are gonna go in the oven. These are gonna go in the oven, and they will look just as crispy and tasty as spring roll pastries that you would fry. Right, so you have savory spring rolls and sweet spring rolls. Another um, quick snack I'm gonna show you is some, is a potato, um, a potato ball with some spinach and paneer. So this is paneer which I just lightly sauteed in um, olive oil with some corn flour to give it that kind of thickness and nice shine. 
And the point of this is it's fun, it's tasty, it's got the spinach with the fire, oh, it's got spinach and iron, it's got fiber and iron with the spinach, and it's got the protein and the healthy fats with um, the uh, paneer. And then you've got potato to give it that nice feel. Not everything has to be 100% healthy. Potato is a comforting kind of food and something that you would feel nice biting into when you open your fast. So I'm gonna wash my hands. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make a ball, a ball in our hands with this potato. So this is boiled potato and I've added some light spices in here like some salt and pepper, some cumin seeds. And then of course if you don't have spinach you can use any other vegetable you like. Um, you can use courgettes, aubergines. Um, just make sure that they're not too water-based if they are. Just give them a, a quick uh, stir fry and just squeeze the water out. The last thing you want is um, water to be squeezing out because again, these are not going to be fried. These are going to go in the oven. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of spinach here. This is just some fun stuff, but it's just a way of being a bit creative and a bit, you know, fun. All right, so we've got one ball of paneer in there. So if you're not aware of what paneer is, paneer is like a cheese ball. And then we're just going to give this a, put it into a round shape. It really does help if you oil your hands, which I haven't. <laughs> and again, we're going to give this a egg wash. I'm going to give this an egg wash and this is going to go in the oven. And this is going to come out so nice and crispy and when you cut it in half you'll have the really nice soft paneer and you'll have a spinach in a potato ball so that's it for the recipes today i have so many more recipes to show you but i can't fit, fit them all in one video unfortunately um, i'm quite limited with time so next week i will show you maybe some asian kind of recipes or, um with yogurt chickpeas tamarind and other stuff as well that you can have for suhoor and iftar and just a reminder if you're not a muslim and you are not fasting please don't think that these recipes are not for you they're also for you too you can have them for your breakfast um for your lunch for snack ideas so you know just be creative so I hope you enjoyed this video and I do apologize for the two-part video once again. Alright, bye bye.